Oh, thank you very much. Very good morning to you all. And yes, I just want to echo what you two were saying. Um, thank you, thank you for so many of your messages. I was nervous at the beginning of this week when I kind of confessed how I've been feeling over the last few years. And so many of you have been in touch with your stories, uh, your questions. It's so clear. I'm not alone in this. There are so many of us out there. And today, what we're talking about is we're talking about how to be healthier, how to be happier, and specifically about exercise, because uh, you will probably have guessed that I do a lot of exercise and every single swim, bike and run that I have done over the last few years has definitely made me feel just that little bit better. Um, we've been out to speak to some people who I think agree with me. They're open water swimmers, they're called the Blue Tits, and they come from Pembrokeshire. We are the Blue Tits and we swim all year round in swimsuits. A lot of us are of a certain age, we're going through the menopause, and we just find that coming together every single day and letting go of our inhibitions just makes us feel that little bit better. I think I'm probably slap bang in the middle of the menopause, hopefully coming towards the end. And for me, exercise takes the edge off it, gives me a reason to get out of the house, enables me to meet lots more new people. Yeah, keeps me calm. Yeah. Cold water swimming in particular has helped with the hot flushes, so they kind of went away more or less straight after I started. You can feel really out of sorts and in a foul mood, and you get in the water and you swim, and it just seems to evaporate. I had all these like claw-like hands, achy knees, achy hips, and as I was doing the exercise, they disappeared. Does it help by coming out to do exercise and, well, in, in our case, cold water swimming? Once we're in, we're all having a laugh, and the conversations that come out of it and stuff that you would never ever talk to anybody else about. Yeah. We can say anything and yeah. it's not going to go beyond the blue tip group. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think that's what's great is listening to you all when we're in the water. Something happens where a filter comes off for good or bad. But it does and it's great that like, everyone can just talk about their own experience and stuff. Your body image is, is a, it can be a really negative thing, mm. but for us it isn't. I don't give a monkey's what I look like. I know what my body can do now and that's what's important. There's days where I'm grumpy and I'm just getting at everybody and then I see my phone goes ping and there it is, swimming on the beach, swimming wherever. Off I go and I just come back so much nicer. <laughs> I know that feeling and I have to admit there have been occasions when my daughters have said to me, Mummy, have you been here for a run today? Um, exercise, personally, can really make a difference. Let's talk to some of the people who are involved in that film. We've got Sharm, we've got Sarah, who's daughter-in-law, and husband, Alan. Lovely to see you all, and I love that film. I clearly feel very much the same way as you. Um, yeah. Why open water swimming, particularly? It's just what came naturally for me from doing other things and getting to a point where I, oh, I had to find something else after all the triathlons, and I just felt... I don't know what it was, but we found it. And it started off just me and a friend, and then we found, hey, this is quite good. This is rather fun. And initially, we're like a bunch of mad women going in. But there's more to it than that. It's not just about being mad women. It's about being together mm. and doing something just a little bit amazing and a little bit scary, because it is every time we go in, a little bit scary. And then you just get that wonderful feeling of togetherness and cold and screaming and just friendship. And you come out with that adrenaline yeah, buzz as well, presumably. Quite Adrenaline. Um, one, one thing I've been particularly um, touched by actually this week is so many men getting in touch uh, with so much care and wanting to support. What about you? What's it been like for you and has this made a difference to home life? I think it's very hard for men to understand what women go through. And uh, for Sean to go out and spend two hours swimming and come back and be happy. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> it, it just makes a big difference to me and, and to the family. Yeah. Uh, I think it's great. Um, you're a daughter-in-law. You've joined in, in the swimming as well. Yeah. And you, you talk about um, seeing these, these women change. I mean, what, what, what do you notice? I just think when you're in the water, something weird happens. I think I said it in the VT that this filter just comes off. 
And it's, it's just made me realise that women my age don't talk about it. It's this thing that happens to older women. And swimming with menopausal women is just enlightening. It's um, great. We've been having such an extraordinary conversation this week. Um, do you think that will change perceptions, for example, amongst your age group? I think so, yeah. I think it's really important that women in their 20s and 30s actually talk about what's going to happen and that it's OK and that, yeah, it's all valid. We're all OK. Yeah, and um, that's, that's another thing, um, the all OK a message as well is coming through kind of loud and clear this week it's important isn't it yeah it is because it's something that's going to happen and we don't talk about it and we do as Sarah was saying when we're out together we, the barriers just come down completely and we talk about all sorts of things and it is really great that it's okay we all have different experiences mm. and we all choose to go through it in a different way but coming together as a group particularly in cold water when we kind of say all sorts of things to each other is a really really great way of just talking through everything and when you get out is that conversation is it a secret what oh, happens in the water yeah absolutely <laughs> What happens in the blue tits stays in the blue tits. I thought that might be the case. Um, let's talk about it from your perspective as well, because um, how can other men, because they've all been asking, so what can we do? What, what was your bit of advice? How, how can they help? I think you've got to be um, careful. Yeah. <laughs> Very careful around, around uh, ladies in the menopause. <laughs> um, I think it's... You be careful. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I think, yeah. I think... To give them their space, I think, is very important, mm. and to support them. I mean, I support Sean on her, in her blue tit swing all the time. Um, they're normally taking photographs or taking her or picking her up or holding keep, towels, holding towels oh. keeping her warm. And it's so. a, oh, thank you so much. That's such an important role, isn't yeah. it, Will? Thank you so much. Um, I, you have inspired me to do more open water swimming. I do quite, but I'm going to have to ditch the wetsuit. Um, <laughs> we're, also, we're here in the botanical gardens all morning, at, and actually Jane is in the butterfly garden, and I think because butterflies are such a symbol, aren't they, that change is also a really good thing. Jane, morning. Good morning to you, yeah. And we're making sense, aren't we, of the theme all week, which is transformation and any hormonal change, big hormonal change in a woman's life, be that adolescence or pregnancy or menopause, leads to transformation. Have a look in here. This is the start of the process in the butterfly house, all the pupae there. And the end result, of course, after about a month is one of these beautiful butterflies. So many women have been getting in touch saying how they view this as a positive experience, a new chapter, a second spring, as they say in Japan. Today, we're going to be breaking the final taboo, aren't we, Elaine? Yeah. Which is what? Incontinence and pelvic floors. Right, and this is the mantra we will all be saying this morning. Come on, Danielle, producer, this is important <laughs> for all women. The mantra we will teach you through the day is... We will pee, pee with a 10, 10, 3. More from us later. First, the news, the travel and the weather. Wherever you are waking up this morning. <laughs>